All right, guys, 24th of June's board briefing, and we have a five rounder. Okay, we've got 15 RX version of the workout 15 kettlebell sumo deadlift high poles, 35 and 50 pounds for the kettlebell, 18 box jumps, 20, 24, 21 sit ups, five rounds. Ding, dang, do, done. Round or level two, same workout, lighter weight on the kettlebell, 26 and 35, same height on the box jumps. Level one, 18 and 26 for the sumo deadlift high poles, 12 box jumps, 16 and 20 inches, followed by nine sit-ups. A couple things we want to think about for this workout. We want to be between nine and 16 minutes, which means we want to think about uh, the kettlebell sumo deadlift high poles between one or two sets. The box jumps a minute and a half and keeping the sit-ups to a minute. All right, some other things that might help you in this workout. Make sure that we're covering the whole handle of the kettlebell. So when we do the high pulls, um, if we happen to hit our chin with our hands, it's better than hitting it with a steel kettlebell. That's just a, uh, something that I've done before. So just careful of that. Other things we want to think about was really driving through the legs with the kettlebell high pulls, hip extension, leg extension, and then pulling high and outside with our elbows. These don't count, right? Elbows should be higher than our fist. Uh, for the rep to count, keeping the kettlebell close to us all times and making sure that we're not hinging with a rounded back, okay? Box jumps, um, step down, jump up, jump down, or jump up, your call. I'd rather see a box jump today than a step up, but if we have an injury, step ups will be uh, an option for you if you have that injury, okay? so. Even if we have to go to a lower box to jump, we'd rather see someone jump than step up. And then the sit-ups. <clears throat> Let's grind a little bit on the sit-ups. Uh, I know for me, it's a focal point. That I get really slow on the sit-ups. I might even stop on five rounds of 21. Uh, I might stop two or three times in each round. Try to just grind through them and see what happens uh, and get go through that muscle fatigue of your core, like getting fried, all right? Um, after the workout, we have some post wad skill and that's take a kettlebell, probably the one you use for a workout, for a 200 meter walk on one arm and a 200 meter walk on the other arm. Quick and dirty workout, let's have some fun with it. We'll see you guys Saturday tomorrow, enjoy.